I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're just always so happy when the weekends come because we know that we're going to gather together all around the world and we're going to worship one person, the dear Lord Jesus Christ. And so we just uh, hope that you'll all tune us in, tell your friends. And today we're going to have a sermon about David uh, who had his, uh, his sins and then he prays that God will restore his, the joy of his salvation. And so we're going to talk about people, sometimes Christians lose the joy of their salvation and how they can come back. And so we'll maybe call a friend or someone and we'll have a good time talking about fellowship with the dear Lord Jesus. Well, we're reading from Psalm 51, the 13 verses of Psalm 51. And this is a psalm of David, and he's committed this terrible sin, adultery, murder, hypocrisy. And uh, he's lost the joy, the fellowship with G with God. And he wants God to cleanse him, wash him again, take away his sins, and restore the joy of his salvation. Psalm uh, 51. He writes, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make known to of wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Behold, and uphold me with thy free spirit. And then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. So we're going to pray, and in our prayer today, we're going to pray for the persecuted church in Yemen. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the wonderful salvation and cleansing we can come have when we come to you. We know that we have all of our sins washed away when we accept you as our Savior. But then it happens sometimes, many times, happens to all of us really in one way or another. We, we commit sin, maybe it's even a thought, an evil thought, a lustful thought. And so then we ask you to forgive us for those sins, those daily sins. And that's what David is praying for, that you'll cleanse him and restore to him the joy that he once had when he walked with you. So we're praying, dear Lord, that you'll help your people. And if some of them have drifted away, help them to come back today. Help them, you'll know, help them to know the grace of God, that you'll receive them, you'll take them back. And dear Lord, we want to pray for those uh, and uh, the persecuted church in Yemen today. And we just can't imagine what it would be like to have our home torn apart, our church burned down, our torn home ripped apart. Maybe the, the husband or the father may be put to death because he's a Christian. Sometimes it's a mother. Sometimes it's both mother and dad and their little orphans. And oh God, we just wish that you could come and put an end to it. And yet I know, Lord, you're waiting because you want to give somebody a chance to come. Because once you come, time is no more. And, oh, God, we just pray that there will be many that will turn to you today and just call on the name of the Lord and be saved. We pray for those. And we just pray that you'll have the, everything we say and do today will honor Jesus. Beautiful, wonderful Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.